everything that I've done in my life, it always started with a big dream. I was scared, but I thought that the cost of not trying was going to be greater than the cost of failing. So no one wakes up and says, I'm going to be complacent today. Unintentional complacency is to start to settle for just good enough. It's to refuse to shoot for excellence, refuse to trying to make things remarkable every single day. Our lives are so busy, business, personal lives, and without a pause, a moment to reconnect with our intention, regain our beliefs. Great companies continue to be filled with very, very great people, but who simply are not motivated. When I was 10 years old, Mount Everest, that's what I was thinking about. It was my biggest dream. And then, when I was 22 years old, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It forced me to go within, to see what I was made of. Because of that, I could not be complacent. That transfers to what you do every single day in a business. You have to take a first step. Set goals based on what you will become. Innovation, disruption, being creative. Success, it's not a goal, it's an outcome. It's what happens if you do things right and with purpose. My whole journey, it's about changing the story I was telling myself. You remember that guy who was picked last every single time in high school when you had to make two teams? Or you don't want to remember that part of your life, maybe? <laughs> that was me. The problem, it wasn't my abilities. It was my beliefs. I didn't think it was possible. So by changing that, you know, going in with intention, with purpose, finding a good reason why I wanted to run so much. That's what gave me the fuel, the energy, and then it made it so much easier to move into action. You make the obstacle a vehicle, you take that first step, and then what? You dance with the obstacle. Just focus on growth habits. It fuels you, it propels you because you're reminded why you're there for the mission, for the message, for the legacy. People leave my keynote and they're vibrating, they're empowered, they're engaged again. You change the story, you change the beliefs, you give yourself permission to succeed, and then everything becomes possible.